Crowds 100,000 strong pack the new motor race track at Silverstone, Northamptonshire, the scene of Britain's first international Grand Prix for 21 years. Champion drivers from Britain and the continent get a final briefing from track officials. Here's one of Britain's hopes, B. Beera, and nearby his famous colleague, Raymond Mays. They're away, a mass start by a large field, beginning 65 grueling laps, a distance of 250 miles. Many of the Continental cars were of the latest type. Most of the British were pre-war, but in spite of that, they more than held their own. There goes Gene Nixon driving an ERA. Another British driver, F.R. Gerard. Now the Italian champion, Villarese, in a Maserati of the newest type. Geoffrey Ansell of Britain, and watch his car number 22 skid into a spectacular crash. Ansel was lucky, suffering only minor injuries and a remarkable escape. One by one, they come into the service pits. Here's Raymond Mays getting high-speed attention before hurtling back into the race. Lap follows lap, the field thinning out, and the leaders clocking 115 miles an hour on the straight. The dead-level turns are tricky on this former airfield, but the drivers take them in their stride. Well past the halfway mark, and Louis Chiron, driving a new French toilet, is well up. The last few laps, and away out in front is Villarese, and even his fellow Italian, Ascari, can't catch him now. Up to the finishing line, and Villarese becomes the winner of the International Grand Prix with an average speed of 72.28 miles an hour. The old spirit of Brooklyn's comes to this, the official opening of a new British track. Thank <laughs> you.